Hello and welcome to the show. We start today with the monster truck after using this in the demolition derby. I wanted to see what it would do on the downhill chaos course. I was not expecting this to be a particularly easy drive down here. This is, I'm using the Bigfoot version of this vehicle by the way. It has got the biggest wheels and the ground clearance remains the same though, but it just has the largest, largest of the wheels. And the first attempt didn't end very well. I got it wrong uh, through the opening corner and it may be uh, a little bit stuck. There we go. I've kind of released it from the tree, but yeah, that was pretty broken. The handling leaves a lot to be desired on a course such as this. Uh, <laughs> I was turning and it, it was understeering. This is not the easiest of vehicles to drive. Uh, not surprising, it's a massive monster truck on a rally stage. Uh, also, incredibly easy to roll. Um, yeah, not the smartest thing I'd ever done. Now, I expected the main problem with the monster truck to be it rolling. It's got a huge ground ground clearance. The centre of mass is massively high on this thing. Um, so I expected this to tumble over very, very easily. That wasn't the problem. The problem was, well, the handling. This is big, this is heavy, and it doesn't turn very well. So this first, <laughs> this first corner was a little bit tricky. It does like to bounce around a little bit on the suspension, and it does like to oversteer a little bit. So, yeah, making just sort of small mistakes was very, very easy. That occasion, actually, the damage looks a hell of a lot worse than it was. And then mechanically, the vehicle's fine. I just managed to sort of twist the bed uh, of the truck. Uh, coming up to the first corner, that's a little bit too far sideways. I just about recovered it. I'm still trying to... There's a tree there. There's not recovered it anymore. Uh, it was. It just started bouncing. And, of course, you've got such huge suspension on this. Massive, massive ride height. And once you sort, once it starts going, you are going to have a really hard time at gathering it up again, getting any sort of form of control. The oversteer was a little bit of a problem as well. Similar to one of the vehicles we had fairly recently. Uh, my mind has just drawn a blank. Uh, the Jeep Cherokee, that was the one that was struggling with uh, the four-wheel drive oversteer. I think it was the Jeep. Uh, this has a similar sort of problem. Chuck it into a corner a little bit too fast and you are going to have some oversteer problems. Uh, that was just a... Uh yeah, a bit of uh, me trying to take a little bit too much speed through the opening corner, running out of steering, and I may have I may have broken the monster truck slightly. I was starting to get a little bit further down the course when it decided it was going to oversteer and <laughs> promptly fell over, put a wheel in the ditch, and that was all it took. This thing fell over very, very easily, as you can see. However, because it was such a difficult thing to drive, it didn't have very good steering. Um, it, you were never really going fast enough. To, you, know, you could aim a lot better at the corners. This one was not an example of that. I, I realised just as I turned in it's not going to work, but I could, didn't have any time to sort of counter it. So now we're, now we're stuck. We can do the monster truck's party piece. I was hoping to kind of fling it back onto its wheels. Uh, didn't quite work. <laughs> Yeah, you, you clip the you clip the inside of one of the banks you're going over. Simple as that. Uh, but you you can get away with it, or it's easier to almost avoid them in some cases because you're going quite a lot slower. The brakes were also uh, a little bit of a problem. This is a huge, great big, heavy vehicle, uh, and I just misjudged the braking point on that one. And off we go down into this sort of. The, many vehicles have ended up on this part of the track broken. Um, it's a fairly common place for just having problems under braking. After a while though, I did get a clean run out of the monster truck. Not at all an easy vehicle to drive, this one. It's very big, it's very heavy, it has quite a lot of understeer when you turn into the fast corners, and then if you go try and put the power down, you just get quite a lot of oversteer. The back end does want to keep coming around on you. Uh, so it is a little bit of a fiddle to drive. The mound of doom on the second corner has no effect on the monster truck. Of course, the plus side to using this vehicle is you don't have to worry about the bumps. The bumps are really, <laughs> really not a problem. You kind of just, yeah, you muller the bumps with a monster truck. Have, have no issues uh, with any of them, even the worst of the braking zones, the jumps, no problem at all. Uh, it's just such a difficult vehicle to turn into the corners. You have to slow down so much for the corners to get it turned in. I'm pretty sure I was using the handbrake on nearly every corner. I played it a bit risky there on the apex. <laughs> Just watching that back, that was a little bit closer than I would ideally have liked for the apex. And again, getting very close to it, I've just got to try and keep those front wheels. If I 
put a slight wheel on the banking, it's gone over because the center of mass is so high on this. I was a little bit terrified of this corner here because it's such a hugely steep corner and you can see the truck was wanting to lift up. I was slow enough around there though not to have any problems. There's a big bumpy braking zone into this uh, final corner. I over, I got away with it and the monster truck flies across the line and I can't stop it in time. <laughs> it was, yeah, acceleration is fantastically fast on this. Uh, so it, it made it down the course without any damage. It, it, it may have crashed into the finish line building uh, and bent, well, bent all the bodywork mechanically again. The vehicle survived absolutely fine. A difficult vehicle to drive, the monster truck. However, it made it to the bottom. Up next, we have the Moonhawk, one of the strongest cars on this game. This thing is ridiculously strong. I, think I, did, I did a video on it a while back where I tried to find ways of killing it. This is a really very, very strong car. So I expected it to survive the run. I wasn't expecting to have this, like the cover that would break the drive train and break the engine. I think that was an it was unlikely that it would happen to the Moonhawk. However, it is a road car and this is quite a bumpy course, so there could well be problems with that. It dealt with the first corner very similarly, similarly, sure, one of those words, uh, <laughs> to the Covert. It gets bounced around, however, it doesn't have sort of massive problems and things were going very well on the opening run until I got a bit too greedy on the apex and I, I may have rolled the car. I, I wasn't expecting rolling to be a problem with this vehicle, as it's a pretty damn low slung car. Um, but yeah, even if you clip clip one of the sort of the banks uh, in the corners with this, you will have problems. Uh, road suspension over a jump and sort of bouncing on the landing does cause problems. As I went straight into a tree. Car's fine though. The car can carry on. <laughs> Mechanically, it still works. Yeah, the, the jumps and the bumps were the biggest problem for this vehicle. This one in particular. The thing is on the landing is the suspension in this vehicle is very soft and very bouncy. So you'd land and then it would sort of start bouncing around and then you'd have wheels in the air and having wheels in the air is not good for braking. Uh, so I just couldn't get the couldn't get the vehicle stopped. Uh, it does get thrown around quite a lot, but not sort of in the normal way. It's you can see here it's, it does kind of weird things uh, when it's getting bounced around. Uh, that when when you're again wheels in the air, not helpful for steering. Moonhawk's fine. It's, it survives all of this. It's still working mechanically. The steering was still working. I was trying to get it free, uh, and then I it, it might not have worked. I may have beached it. <laughs> on her rock. Wasn't long though, wasn't long before I got a clean run out of the Moonhawk. Uh, it's a pretty good car to drive on normal road surfaces, I do quite like it. This is using the supercharged engine with the four-speed gearbox, so it's the best version of this vehicle uh, that, I ha that I can I can use. The, uh, the Mound of Doom uh, wasn't affecting the Moonhawk either, this could drive over it without any problems. You can see though how bouncy this suspension is. It really does wobble around. It's a little bit strange. It doesn't sort of throw the car up in the air as spectacularly as some of the off-road vehicles or as the, the pickup truck I think has got thrown around quite a lot and some of the other vehicles that have been. It just it's, it's very hard to describe. It's not sort of massively spectacular but it is getting thrown around which makes braking uh, quite problematic you can see here and turning is quite problematic as well when the wheels uh, are in the air. <laughs> There's a huge bump in that shadow of the tree you don't notice with most vehicles but with this eh, it is it is kind of noticeable. Uh, then the next big problem area is this second jump. On this run I, the jump was terrible. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it must have just got a little bit of a bounce before the jump which means that when it came to it it slammed into the other side. However it didn't really lose too much time. It was still functioning, it could still carry on, it was still going. This thing is stupidly strong as I mentioned. So it was around the final corner, the vehicle was pulling to the left a little bit, but we got it across the line. Yeah, the, that second jump is a real killer for this vehicle. The way the suspension is, it bounces you around before the jump, which means when you reach the jump, you smack your car into the other side. I tried a few times afterward and it was just the same results. So this was the best the best of the runs that I got. Um, yeah, damage wise, uh, front suspension collapsed. I took a massive chunk out of one of the tires and the car was pulling to the left 
uh, on the final straight, so I'm going to presume broken steering or broken something uh, in the front. Our third and final vehicle, this is the DSC Kiwi. It is basically a, a cab of a vehicle welded on to a little chassis with a very big engine. Yeah, uh, this is a crazy little thing that looked like a lot of fun to try. Uh, it's four-wheel drive, very powerful, very, very light, which makes it rather interesting <laughs> to drive as I've, I have I managed to roll it without clipping any banks at all. It was just bouncing around so much that, uh, yeah, it decided it was going to go over. Now, the slight downside with this vehicle is it does have... Uh, I would say a relatively high center of mass in that it's got a very tall cab. Uh, on, on that attempt I was actually turning to the corner, tried to slow it down, locked the wheels and that's what almost spun me out and then I found a banking and managed to roll and then tumbled off the hill some more. Are we going to eventually land on our wheels? Perhaps, no, nope, we've lost a door and there we go. We've landed it on our wheels and in attempting to get back on the track it uh, fell over but the wheels the back wheels, I think, were bent in or something. It, they looked a little bit funny uh, at the back. This is a tough vehicle to drive. This is quite a crazy vehicle to drive. May not have had enough control to sort or sort of line it up for the jump. I don't want to take the jump from the right-hand side. Otherwise, well, that happens. And it's a nasty jump, that, if you get it wrong. Get it right, and it's not actually a jump. Uh, we were having problems coming into the braking zone for this corner. <laughs> it was just all out of control. Still going, though, so I thought, sorry, I'll carry on. Uh, which probably wasn't the best of ideas as I clipped the bank and well we made the second jump we were kind of slightly upside down and tumbling and it does tumble spectacularly well uh, <laughs> it's still going which is uh, quite incredible really the steering is slightly bent I'll be honest it doesn't doesn't handle per uh, hmm. <laughs> The front wheel is slightly broken. It did survive that remarkably well, though, for its tumbling. The first corner, though, was the real problem with this vehicle. It is incredibly hard to go fast around that first corner uh, because it just kind of gets sort of bounced a little bit, and then in, in bouncing, you sort of start losing control, and then you can't really do very much about it. Uh, and in this case, it ended up in a tree. Uh, yeah, it is a nasty, nasty first corner, this one. Uh, while the vehicle does still work, the steering has gone again uh, <laughs> on this. Again, first corner. I may have tried to cut that a little bit fine. I've not hit that tree before. I am exploring a few parts of this map. I made a mess. I have made a rather a, a rather big mess of the <laughs> of the Kiwi. I'm actually sure if I approached that first corner, I didn't have a wheel a little bit too far to the side. Uh, I managed to roll it before even hitting anything that time. I'm quite impressed with that one. I guess I must have just... There must have been a little bump that I didn't really see. Uh, and got it sideways. And that was enough to send the vehicle uh, <laughs> upside down. Again, first corner, turn in, bounce, bounce, bounce. And we're going to be on our side, and then on our other side, and skid. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bit of a pain. It was a real pain trying to get it around that first corner. It's so light and quite top-heavy very very easy to roll this vehicle the mound of doom hadn't had any effect on the vehicles so far so there had to be one there has to be one uh, in every downhill chaos video now it seems and sure enough it was the kiwi not really surprised that it does, does this thing was rolling well enough on its own uh, let alone throw in a, a mound that has been notorious for rolling vehicles and the rolling was quite the problem uh, for this more so than the monster truck which is i i don't know I don't know why that is. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, well, I do know why. It's because this thing will actually go a little bit faster than the monster truck. Um, so, yeah, we've, we've, we've got it stuck down at the bottom. After a while, it did take a while. Of all the vehicles, this one certainly took the longest to get a clean run. I did get it to the bottom of the mountain. The first corner was terrifying, but I managed to get away with it. Got to give a little bit of space to the mound of doom. I got the line a little bit wonky uh, coming into there. I sort of turned in the back end of the vehicle, was wanting to step out. This is another another car. I don't even know if you call it a car. I'm not sure what you would call it. Um, a vehicle that has a bit of oversteer problem if you are not very careful. Uh, again, it's a powerful four-wheel drive thing that's incredibly light. Got absolutely no weight over the back of it, as you can quite clearly see. 
a difficult, difficult car to drive this one. Oh, once you got around the first corner, the opening section wasn't too bad. You just had to be very careful. Again, you could get a little bit of a bounce going on through here, but on the most part, it was fairly controllable. The suspension did a good job of dealing with the off-road bumps, despite not having the ridiculous ground clearance of some of the other vehicles. It gets thrown around a little bit just because it's so light, but does a pretty damn good job of coping with it. The second of the two jumps dealt with fairly easily in this vehicle. We come up towards this nasty, nasty corner. I was, again, had to be pretty slow coming into this corner. Because if I attacked it too much, you would just roll this vehicle. It, that's just the way it works. Again, it was lifting up onto two wheels as we came into the final corner. And then it is just uh, a floor it across the line. And this is a quick car uh, accelerating. I may possibly have got it broken. <laughs> I made it to the bottom of the mountain in one piece without any, any noticeable damage on the Kiwi. Until I crossed the finish line. Again, this is such a fast vehicle. I couldn't slow it down in time. And we have clattered into the building and we have got it completely and utterly wedged. Yeah, it's not coming out of there. It's going to remain there for the, <laughs> for the rest of time. Yeah, that is a little bit wedged. Speaking of time, it is on to the descent times. Well, none of the vehicles today really set the leaderboard uh, alight. The DSC Kiwi goes into ninth with a 125.0, half a second behind the Jeep Cherokee. The problem is it's just too hard to control. While it is very, very fast, uh, it's so light and gets... It's, yeah, it's just a, such a difficult vehicle to drive on a course such as this. Uh, you, you struggle to use all of the power and all of the acceleration. The monster truck gets a 125.8, 0.8 of a second behind the Kiwi. It, pretty much the opposite is true of the monster truck. The monster truck is too big and too heavy uh, and very hard to turn around some of the very tight corners here. Hence why it, it has got quite a slow time, but again has phenomenal acceleration. And the Moonhawk sets quite a slow time of a 127.3. I think that's just down to the suspension balance bouncing around so much that you you struggle to put any of the power down because the wheels spend quite a lot of time in the air and it makes it a little bit difficult to steer and a little bit difficult to stop. So yeah, not the most impressive of times uh, from the Moonhawk. Anyway, that is it for today. So thank you very much for watching. Leave your suggestions for vehicles you would like to see me use uh, on this course in the comment section. I will have a look through and my favourites or the most popular will be in a video at some point. However, until next time... Goodbye.